Consider the following table. Which of the following choices represents the same relationship as this table? Let's actually start by looking at answer choice B and C. With C, we can just plot points from our table to see if they match. And with answer choice B, we just have to do a quick rearrangement. So either we can quickly eliminate these or quickly find our correct answer. Let's start with C. For answer choice C, I'm going to try this first point here. Over negative 10, up 5. The point should be right here. However, that does not fall on the graph. So already we can eliminate answer choice C. For answer choice B, we just need to rearrange this into y equals mx plus b form, and then we can try some points. We need to isolate y, and 2 is being multiplied to y, so the opposite operation will be dividing both sides by 2. This will cancel, giving us negative x over 2, which we can rewrite as negative 1 half x, because if it exists in math, there's always one of them, right? So negative 1 half x is equal to y is our equation for answer choice B. So now we can quickly test our points. I'll write this up here. y equals negative 1 half x. And we can set up several of these points. So we'll have um, 5 is equal to negative 1 half times negative 10. Negative 1 half times a negative 10, negative times a negative gives us a positive, and half of 10 is 5. So far, so good. Let's do another one. Uh, our next one would have 3 as y is equal to uh, negative 6 times, excuse me, negative 1 half times negative 6. Negative times a negative is a positive, and half of 6 is 3. So far, so good. And for the rest of these, again, this one kind of has a bit of a pattern to it, so we could do the rest of these using mental math. Half of 2 is 1, and we'll need to, half of negative 2 is negative 1, and then we'll flip the sign, because we're multiplying by a negative, and that will give us the result of positive 1. Half of negative 1 is negative 1 half, and then we flip the sign to get a positive 1 half. Then finally, half of 2 is positive 1, Flip the sign because we multiplied by negative, and we get negative 1. So answer choice B matches all of the values in our original function, making it our correct answer. At that point, you can mark B and move on with the rest of the test, but for the sake of the video, I will go through and show you why A and D are incorrect. Answer choice D is incorrect because it says there is no pattern to the values presented in the table when there is an answer choice B. So answer choice D is incorrect. For answer choice A, we would need to uh, try to create an equation based off of both this table and this table to compare them. This takes the most time, which is why I advised that we started with answer choice B and C rather than jumping straight into comparing two tables to each other. So let's start. We already know that this equation is y equals negative 1 half x. Let's see what this table's equation would be. Let's take these two points because this will be very quick math. We'll have y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we will use this first set of points for our y2 and x2. So we'll have negative 10 over 50 minus 0 and 0, our other set of points. And when we subtract by 0, we just end up with the number we started with. So we'll have negative 10 over 50. And as we simplify, we just need to cross out these two zeros factor out the greatest common factor, and we'll get negative one-fifth as our slope. Negative one-fifth does not match our slope of negative one-half, and that makes answer choice A incorrect, and answer choice B is our correct answer.